What's going on today, guys? How's it going? Today, I'm welcoming you guys to Top 5 Wednesdays. That's right. We're going to start up a series here where we do Top 5s of anything on Wednesdays. So look, you guys can look forward to my Top 5s. But, uh, sorry, the first Top 5 is not really going to be a Top 5 because for this one I was going to do Top 5 games coming out in July, but there just aren't enough games coming out in July. Sorry, guys. It's just a too slow of a month. But I did want to talk about um, Ark Survival of the Fittest. It is a game that came out on PC in like March, I, th I believe. It's now coming to PS4 on July 19th. That's right. I don't know if any of you guys have seen Ark, but I'll play the trailer right now. You guys can kind of watch it while I'm talking. Um, Ark, uh, they had thousands and thousands of people are playing it online on PC, right? Uh, it's kind of died off a little bit, I believe, but it used to be big on YouTube and stuff like that. And uh, in ARC, you can compete with cash prizes, invitational tournaments, and of course, dinosaurs, as far as the eye can see. It's a game that's based back in it's back in time, back in the Stone Ages, you know. You gotta uh, build all your weaponry, and you can ride animals, kill animals, do whatever you want to animals. Nothing weird. No, none of that weird crap, guys. No, no, no. Not here. But uh, Survival of the Fittest was built from the ground up to be the full competitive action. And to bring it all to the PS4 players on July 19th. July 19th, boys. It's coming to PS4. So what happens in this game? You spawn in almost naked with a group of hostile opponents. It's a do or die in what, we, what they call a multiplayer online survival arena. Which where you use your wits. So it's kind of like uh, Hunger Games, you know. It's just a little Hunger Games, but back in time. A little, little, little back more. Uh, you're cunning, a little brute force, a hatchet, an anvil, some arrows, a triceratops, a few guns, an explosive or two, a couple of stegosauruses, a sniper rifle, and, and in dire case, your own poop. That's right, boys. You heard it first here. Your own poop. The last tribe standing... When the final curtain is drawn, wins. You know, all said and done, everyone's dead, you win. You tame dinosaurs, craft armor, forge weapons, harvest resources, build bases, make friends, and slaughter some bobs. That's what uh, the newcomers are called on ARC, I guess. You know, bobs make sense. In what is one of the deepest combat arenas to ever hit the PlayStation, the depth of the strategy and the potential avenues for victory are enormous. They are working insanely to make a make sure that no matter what approach you take, you can come out on top if you are clever. That's if you're clever, though, boys. You know, you gotta be clever, otherwise you're gonna be dead, 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 dead. Um, the PS4 has given them bringing it to PS4 has given them a whole nother uh, you know avenue. Because it's a unique game type. Nobody has brought a multiplayer online survival arena or a MOSA to PlayStation. And, uh, you know, it's going to be fun. And for those of you who have played League, or uh, not not League, sorry, um, ARC, the Survivor League has come to PS4 as well. So that means cash prizes for the best of the best every single month. In addition to these prizes, you also qualify yourself for our invitationals of our future events that we are planning. That they are planning, they want players to be able to get some return on the investment that they make playing our game every day. So I mean, that gives you a little incentive there to game. What more could you ask for? You could game and win some money, boys. Look at that. Another thing that for July is the Batman Arkham Remasters coming back for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. So that'll be exciting, you know, Batman on the next, on the new gens. So that's another thing. And then the Fallout 4 Vault Tech Workshop DLC is coming out this month. They they don't have a date out for it yet, but this is the fifth expansion pack for Fallout 4. And uh, in this one, you're building a brighter future underground with all new Vault Tech Workshop. You create a massive vault, and you attract new dwellers using pre-war industrial kits, complete with retro nostalgic furniture. 
lighting, and art. And like every good overseer, run vault approved experiments on your dwellers to learn what it makes an ideal citizen. vault has given you the tools to, you know, and the rest is up to you. Just building vaults. I was watching the trailer and they have people exercising on a bike, so it looks like you can exercise, boys. So you don't even have to go outside anymore. You can just go on vault Tech and exercise. So that's all I got for my top three, you know, top five, top three Wednesday. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think of top five. Should we do them every Wednesday? Should we do them twice a week, once a week, six times a week, eight times a week? Let me know. And uh, thanks, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.